Hi there, it's Marianne from Thrive Admin Services and welcome to my video on SharePoint. Today we're going to have a look at one of the easiest ways that you can make your SharePoint site or page so much more efficient and streamlined and that's by customizing the menu in the page. Now it might seem like a really small thing to deal with but it can have a huge difference in how people navigate the page, find what they need and make sure that everything is clear and easy for them to access. So let's have a look. Okay, so let's dive in. This is a typical SharePoint site and it's been set up with a few features already. Now, the menu that you see here on the left-hand side of the screen, this is what we're going to be editing. And I'm going to show you how to do that by, first we go into edit mode. So we can go edit here. And then what happens is that you'll see that we can suddenly um, start to play around with this these elements slightly. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to, you can also access some of the tools for this by going up into the settings up here. And then here you go to change the look and then we have a navigation option. And this is where you can determine which way that navigation works. So you can see at the moment, it's the vertical one, which is here on the left-hand side. You can choose a horizontal option, which will pop it along the top. When it's horizontal, you have a couple of other options about your menu style, whether it's a cascading one or a, a, drop, a mega drop down. So the standard is the vertical, but you can choose to change that as well. So I'm gonna leave that for now and I'll leave that, you would save that and that will change the way that goes. But for now, this is the way the navigation will work and we are going to go on now to be able to edit and customize this menu. So now that we're in the right place, let's get hands-on and make sure that we can create the most user-friendly experience possible by adding, rearranging and removing items from the menu to suit your specific needs. So first off, let's try adding a new item to the menu. So you can see here, we've clicked over here on the edit option. And now when I run my uh, mouse over it, you'll see there are these little plus signs that appear after each one. If I click on that, it's going to allow me to add an item to the navigation. So I am going to add, now you can see from here, there are lots of different things that we can add. I'm going to add a link and you'll see the options here. So we can add it as an address. So I'm going to put the actual address um, into, I'm going to actually put my uh, website in here as an, as an address that we can go to. So we're going to go HTTPs. And then like you do when you create a custom hyperlink in lots of other programs, you can then choose how it will look on the navigation. So we're going to then pop that in as um, Thrive website. We can choose here to whether I want this to open in a new tab or whether this page will now move. So I would typically open it in a new tab. You can see that one is here now. Once you've added this link, you can customize it and then you can drag it as well. So we can customize it and edit it using these three dots. If we edit it, we can change any of those elements and then we can move it up and down or by using the little toggles here on the, whoops, by using the little toggles here, I can drag it and the thin line there shows me where it will sit. So I might decide that it's going to sit up at the top. Once you're happy with it, you will click save and you've added now that new item to our menu. Talk about easy, right? Now let's look at rearranging those items so that we can make sure that the most important or most frequently used items are front and center for everybody. Now, likewise, when we're in that edit mode, I can rearrange the items simply by dragging them around. So again, by those two dots on the side, I can move things around or from the three dots on the right hand side, I can move them up or move them down. Now, remember to keep the most frequently accessed items at the top for better visibility for people who may be accessing this on different devices or have different screen resolutions or 
uh, Zoom features set up on their own screens. You have to kind of go with the lowest common denominator or make it as simple so that it will be as consistent for everybody as you can. And then if there is something that no longer needs to be in the menu, so for example, you may not be using a notebook, you can click the three dots here and you can simply remove it like so. So this is our, so then we hit save and this is what our updated menu looks like. It's now going to be cohesive and suit how you want to work with the people that you want, with the, the information that people will need in the way that they will work with it. Editing the menu can seem like a really small thing to worry about, but it can have a huge impact on how people navigate the site. Remember, at the end of the day, what you want to do is create a site that is as easy and stress-free for people to navigate as possible. This is a last little reminder as well. Don't forget to always hit save when you've made any of those edits. Once you've um, edited that, if you don't hit save, it won't pull it. And remember that you can always come back and adjust the menu as your site evolves. Add things, remove things and move them around so that it is always the most efficient way for people to find content in your site. And that's it for this video. Now, remember, being able to create a customized and user-friendly experience makes the entire site so much more user-friendly for anyone who comes in contact with it. So get in there and have a go. Now, if you found this video really useful, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel to make sure that you stay up to date with all of the latest updates and tips that I've got to share with you on Microsoft 365. I'll see you in another video really soon.